here we have rationalizing a denominator the square root of a fraction. So before we can rationalize the denominator, we actually have to separate that fraction first. And before you separate it, you always want to reduce actually. So we can reduce this fraction first and get the square root of one fifth. And then we can do the square root of one over the square root of five. The square root of one is one, the square root of five does not simplify any further. But we still need to rationalize. So we're gonna multiply by the extra five on the top and the bottom, and we end up with one square root of five, or just square root of five. At the bottom, we end up with the square root of 25. So we end up with square root of five over a regular five as the final answer here. Now, for part B, it's a little bit different because these do not reduce. And since they do not reduce, we're just going to take the top and the bottom separate. Then we need to get rid of this house, so we're gonna use another square root of five, top and bottom. And so we get the square root of 15 over the square root of 25. Square root of 15 does not reduce in your calculator. Square root of 25, though, is five. And that is the final answer for that one.